drugstore museum in Guthrie, you find all sorts of invented in Oklahoma stuff. It is also here that folks say they've always heard the story that William Wrigley came to Guthrie hawking his scouring soap and baking soda and invented his chewing gum. Some accounts specifically mention the spearmint flavor to use as an enticing premium for his products. But we digress. The folks of the territories were rather enterprising in their concoctions and mixed and measured plants, herbs, powders, and potions, the possession of some of which in today's world could get you sent to prison. Oklahomans invented cures for everything from dandruff. Double dandarine was actually a product of the drugstore in Guthrie, Oklahoma Territory, to sore gums, to fatigue and fevers. Also, constipation, apparently a prevalent problem based on the proliferation of products available for, we're guessing here, a lack of fiber in the territorial diet. One rather famous or infamous maker of medicines and seller of solutions was J.R. Roberts, little Doc Roberts, they called him, and an ancestor of Evangelist Oral Roberts. Now back to the soap, baking soda, and gum baron. William Wrigley did go west at one point to Kansas City, but went back to Chicago and used massive amounts of advertising for his chewing gums and amassed his millions. There is no mention of Oklahoma in any of his official biographies nor in any of his obituaries. It could be he traveled through Guthrie when he went to Arizona and bought the Biltmore Resort near Phoenix. We hate to burst anyone's chewing gum bubble, but William Wrigley died in his home in Arizona in January of 1932 with no record of ever being in Oklahoma, let alone inventing his chewing gum here. I'm Billy Roadley with Centennial Stories.